just want to pray that the Spirit of the Lord would rest on the President. Amen. Thank you very much, Karen. Could I ask you one question? Who did you vote for? Oh. The fake news, of which many of you are members, is trying to convince the public to have a recession. Let's have a recession. Somebody, excuse me, somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. And above all else, we know this. In America, we don't worship government. We worship God. Who likes me in this room? Raise your right hand. Thank you. Now I know. I think God wanted Donald Trump to become president, and that's why he's there. This man is in the White House because God wants him there. I am the chosen one. Yeah, that's right. As I stand before you today, I see the greatest president in history. Of course he is. He was chosen by God. So do you know that not everything that you hear is what really is? Some of you need your eyes open concerning what God's doing with this administration. Trump's the best president for Israel in the history of the world. And the Jewish people love him like he's the king of Israel. They love him like he's the second coming of God. The second coming of God. The second coming of God. And you say, why did you pick Donald Trump to stay in charge of this country? Well, look at the men that God picked in the Bible throughout the ages. It was always men that had this flaw and that flaw, and yet God entered them and God spoke to them and God saved his people, saved his planet, saved his country. He seems to enjoy having people pray for him. Mm -hmm. And when I started seeing these pictures that were on YouTube of Christian leaders reaching out their hand and praying for him, I was just flabbergasted. I mean, Donald Trump seems to enjoy this, and I believe that there is something going on in his heart, and I believe that God has raised him up. This morning we especially pray for President Trump, and we ask that your wisdom, your blessing, and your peace would be upon him and his family as they serve us. Pray that you would pour your overwhelming blessing and wisdom on the president. You know, I'm automatically attracted to people. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. What politician even lets you touch them, let alone pray for them? God is the ultimate. I mean, God created this. I am the chosen one. So, uh, nobody, no thing, no, there's nothing like God. God's people have prayed, and I believe that God has answered our prayers, and we can be encouraged that God hears our prayers. Well, he, the, the, he, the, well, uh, did you think uh, he's going to have an impact, a great impact in our country? And there's no question God has put his hand on him. We would like to pray for you. We pray for you often. Thank you. Uh, as a family, my wife and I pray for you. Thank you. We pray for you. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Sorry, yes. okay. 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 So you can. Okay. okay. Lord God, I ask that you pour out your Holy Spirit on President Trump, that you give him supernatural wisdom to accomplish all the plans you have for this country and for him. In Jesus' name, we bless you. Amen. Donald Trump seems to enjoy having people pray for him. Prayer? Let's pray together. May we need to use. Father, I thank you that we have a president, President Donald Trump, who believes in the power of prayer. And now you have given us a gift, President Donald Trump, who wants to bring healing to this country. And he is bringing healing to this country. Millions of people are flowing through Mexico. That's unacceptable. Millions and millions of people are coming right through Mexico. It's a 2,000 mile journey, this onslaught, this invasion into our country. We have an invasion of drugs, invasion of gangs, invasion of people, and it's unacceptable. These are hardened criminals. These are tough, tough people. And I don't want them in our country. But how do you stop these people? You can't. There's no... That's only in the panhandle you can get away with that stuff. You can get away with that stuff. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. 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 It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to pray that the spirit of the Lord would rest on the president. Amen. Thank you very much, Karen. Could I ask you one question? Who did you vote for?